start with a clean network. I'll make a base comp where we'll get our video feed first. So I'll make a device in top and I will change the device to my webcam. Hi. <laughs> I'll add a flip top because as leap motion will read the other direction. So I'll flip X on and add a null. I'll change this to video. And then let me tilt my camera so you can see my leap motion. And I'll put this on the side. I'll come out, I'll name this base video and I'll make another base for the leap data. Rename it to leap data. Inside, we'll get a leap motion chop. So leap motion chop works like connect. You can get all the data from the hand. And from there, I'll turn off device info, debug channel. I'll change hand to just one and finger to one because I just want to see one hand at a time. But I'll turn on pinch and grab so I can get those data. So I'll get a select chop. In the select chop, I just first want to get the X, Y. So I will put finger um, bracket zero to four colon. And I'll change the name to T brackets X, Y, and Z. So it's a clean name. And I'll put a null. Change the null to X, Y, Z data. Now I'll get the pinch data. Another select chop. Channel name, I'll get star pinch star. And I'll rename this to just pinch so it's cleaner. Get another null and I'll change this to pinch data. And finally, we'll get the grab data. So another select chop. And channel name, I'll get grab. And I'll rename to just grab. Another null. And I'll change this null to grab data. So you can see we have all the data in individual nulls. Next, I'll come out and make a base. I'll name it visuals. So this is where all the visuals will be. I'll start with the background. So I'll put a ramp top. The RAM top I'll change to circular. I'll change the resolution to 1920 by 1080. And I want this to move, so I'll change the phase to Python apps time dot seconds. Slow this down by times 0.1. And I want the circle smaller, so I'll change the period to 0.5. And I'll adjust the color so it's a blue to a light pink range. After I'll add a null top and rename it to BK for a background. After the rant top, I will add a blur top. The pre-shrink, I'll change it to six and filter size to 22. So nice and blurry. And add a noise top and change the resolution to 1920, 1080. And I'll keep most of the same and just the exponent, I'll change it to 0.85. Nice. After the blur, I'll have a displace top. Change this display weight to 0.1 and 0.1. So it has this kind of cloudy effect. I'll add another displace top after and pipe both inputs into the display top and change the display weight to 0.1 and 0.1 again. So it kind of has this more glassy look. Add another blur afterwards and I'll change the pre-shrink to five. Nice. Next, we'll get a sear sop. And we'll change the radius to 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Then we'll add a geometry comp and a render top. <laughs> we'll need a camera comp so we can see it. 
and this will be the dot for drawing. So we'll put a matte constant material, have as a material for geometry, and we'll use our hand to move this. So when you get the data, we'll split the plane and put a select chop, and we'll select all three of the chops. So the XY data, the pinch, and the grab. So we can just directly drag these and then close the pan and we'll put a null at all the ends. I'll just rename the nulls back to XYZ data, pinch data, and grab data. So we'll instance the XYZ onto the sphere. We'll change the render to 1920 by 1080 so it's the same as the background. And in the instance tab, I'll turn on instance and have the XYZ data be the instancing X, TX, TY, TZ. So when I move my hand, the circle sphere goes away because the range is not right. So I'll add a math chop after select and multiply it by 0.008, oops. And then now if I move it, it's more in range, but it's too high, so it keeps on getting off frame. So I'll change the geo geometry transition for the Y to be negative two, and now I can see it. So let's add a trail for the render top. So in the palette, the image filter, I'm gonna get the feedback So now when I move my hand, it has a trail, but I change the opacity to one, so it has a longer trail. And I'll have my grab motion trigger the reset. So I'll set the grab data to set the reset. But I will add a math chop and change the integer to floor. So now it'll be a clean zero to one. Yep, works. Now I'll make this pointer look a bit nicer. So I'll add a blur. And I'll change the filter size to 11. Nice. I'll add a null after and change the null name to finger point. I want the draw to be a little bit more wiggly, so I add a noise top. I'll change the resolution to 1920, 1080, and the period to 1.005, harmonics to 0.15, exponent point 1.5, amplitude 0.5, and offset to 0.65, and monochrome off. Add a displace top and pipe it to the second input. Displace weight to 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So now when I draw, it has a little bit more of a wiggly line. Nice. So next we'll have the pinch control the radius of the draw. So we'll add a math after the pinch And we'll want the range, we can check. So right now the sphere is 0 0.05. So we'll have it be 0 0.05 to 0 0.1. And then we can add the parameters into the sphere's radius. So now whenever you pinch, the line gets a bit thicker. And then when you grab, it'll clear. Ugh, it's going a bit crazy. There you go. Now I'll add the texture onto the trail by using a multiply top. 
and then we'll pipe the background null to the first one and then the pink finger point null to the second. So now the background's inside. Add a HSV adjust and change the hue off at to 60. So now it's like a purple color. We'll add a white line around it by adding oops, a edge top and adding the multiply there, change the strength to 0.5 and add a over top. So that the edge is over the HSV adjust. Nice. And we'll just put this over the background. We'll add another over top and pipe the background on the second input and the finger point on the first input. Almost done. We'll put another null. I'll call this out. We'll add the final touches now. So we'll make it so when you pinch, it can change the saturation of the color. So we'll add a math chop after the pinch select. And then we'll get a range that will control the level. So we'll first add a level top between the displace and blur in the background. And then we'll have a control the gamma too. So I'll change the range to, we'll check. So for the gamma, what range would we would like. So I'll do, 0.5 to 1. Change it to 0.5 to 1. I'll add a lag and have it to be 0.5 and 0.2 so it'll be a bit smoother. Rename this to pinch CLR for color. And I'll have a merge top so it'll be in the same with the other pinch. So I'll merge the two pinch data. And I'll put this in view so I can drag it into the gamma too. Great. And there we have it. We'll add some texture. We'll add some noise. We'll put a noise top. Change the type to random. Resolution to 1920 1080. And then afterwards, add a level and change the opacity to 0.1 and add a over top and put it over image so it has this nice grain effect. And finally, oof, it's a little bit glitchy. There you go. And finally, we'll add the video feed over. So then We'll split to plane, get a select top. And get the video No, Close this plane. I'll add a transform, so it'll be smaller. Change the scale down by like 0.4. Move to the corner, add a level so I can lower the opacity and then have it over the visual. So the scale is a bit weird because my video output is in 1920 by 1080. So I'll just add a fit top or it doesn't work. Yeah, I'll add a fit top, change the resolution 1920 by 1080. And from there, tinker, I'll change the scale and tinker the transition slate so it's more in the corner. Ah! <laughs> there you go. And here we have it. Feel free to change the colors for the ramp or add any different controls for the levels. Thanks for watching! Hey guys, thanks for watching. 
If you're serious about taking your touch designer and interactive skills to the next level, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. It's the only educational resource and community of its kind for touch designer and interactive professionals. You can learn more by checking out the link in the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell icon for more awesome free content.